to play. Take a second uh, before you let your kids hit the playground. A report next that could make you think twice. Thanks for joining us. Hello, I'm Brad Bird. And I'm Shelley Kerr. The playground can be a popular spot in the summertime, but in this heat, experts have a few warnings. In tonight's top story, Eyewitness News' Amelia Young explains how to keep your children safe. Summer days for Lori Dillow's family are filled with lots of fun and play. Grab them, buddy. They're also filled with layers of sunscreen. Here, Max, put sunscreen on you. And plenty of water. We feel like we've been kind of cooped up a lot lately, so we wanted to get out. Playgrounds are always an easy option for her three kids, but shady spots can be hard to come by. This is hot, too. I had a temperature reader with me and found out this surface was 135 degrees. So make sure you're paying attention to where your kids are playing. One thing you might be worried about are the black swings, those coming in around 109 degrees. But actually, the thing to be worried about is the ground underneath, the tiles coming in at 135 degrees. If the child does accidentally get burned, then the first thing to do is to wash the area with some water very gently and apply ice packs. When you should be most alert, the middle of the day. You are a thirsty boy. A high humidity and heat index could turn those smiles into frowns. And it's going to increase the um, body's fluid loss, and that's definitely when you want to be the most careful. If a child starts to have altered mental status, is not acting right, stops sweating, and those are signs for concern that you should bring the child in right away. Being an alert parent and aware of your kids' surroundings. You're too hot. You ready to go? You're too hot. Can help you beat the summer heat. In Evansville, Amelia Young, Eyewitness News. A federal grand jury has indicted an Evansville doctor.